Welcome everyone. So today, uh, earlier I got hit by this uh, Windows update that, hey, update your Windows, keep your Windows up to date. Then I got hit by this feed, which is alarming. Uh, let's go over this real quickly because I don't want to waste, uh, I, I'm not going to make this video too long. You can read the article yourself as well. So I got hit by this article where it says there is a new Windows update downgrade attack, which unpatches fully patched updated systems. So literally, if your system is patched, Windows 10, Windows 11, irrespective, and Windows servers, uh, they will basically reintroduce the old vulnerabilities, right? So, sorry, I, I have a tongue uh, twister there for me. That word is very hard for me to pronounce. Um, in the downgrade attacks, um, so what happens in this attack? This came out last night. Uh, I got, uh, I was able to read it early today in the morning. So these articles have been there for the past 18 hours to almost 24 hours. So yesterday uh, it was uh, published uh, in the downgrade attacks. What happens? Um, the threat actors force an up to date. So threat actors meaning hack hackers, right? Force an up to date target device to roll back to older windows or older software versions, reintroducing the loopholes uh, that can be exploited to compromise the system. So any hacker basically, or any system, any Windows 10, uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, or Windows Server, uh, basically uh, you're hooped. Hopefully it hasn't been comp it hasn't been um, used yet, but because nobody knew about it, probably, or maybe they did and they didn't share it. But Alan, so this is the guy, so the security researcher Alan Le Levi or Levi, I'm going to say Levi. Alan Levi discovered that. Windows, sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, uh, discovered that Windows update process could be compromised to downgrade critical operating system components. So including the DLLs and the anti-kernel. Even though all of these components were now out of date when checking with Windows update, the operating system reported that it was fully patched. So basically he's, I think he's doing checks by manually going to the Windows update and seeing if the versions are correct or not. But the operating and then they were basically out of date. So like, for example, today's update uh, might have been reverted back to like a months, months before update or something, a kernel or a DLL file, right? The OS reported that it was fully patched. So my system, so this guy, like, you know, your Windows updates are going to say, hey, you're fully patched. It says you're up to date, right? So you're fully patched uh, with recovery and scanning tools. I'm not sure what scanning tools he used, uh, unable to detect any issues. So everything is good, fine and dandy. So what happens is that, so by exploiting this zero day loophole, he could also downgrade the credential guard secure kernel and isolated user mode process and Hyper-V is hypervisor to expose past privileges escalation uh, loopholes. I don't know if it's uh, with Hyper-V enabled the feature or if it actually is still um, like, you know, hackable through uh, even if you don't have Hyper-V enabled. So even if you have Hyper-V on or Hyper-V off, um, I'm not sure exactly, to be honest, they don't really discuss about that in, in the articles that I read. I was trying to find that, but if you guys know, please do comment below if this is actually still achievable, even with hypervisor feature disabled. Like, so I have the any feature enabled, My I have some VMs running, but if it's disabled, is my system still impacted? That I'll try to find out and post in the comments below if I find an article about it. So what, what happens is, so I discovered multiple ways, again, this is Alan, Alan talking here. I discovered multiple ways to disable Windows virtualization based security. So VBS, including its features such as credential guard and hypervisor protected code integrity. So HVCI, even when enforced with UFI blocks or UFI locks, to my knowledge, this is the first time VBS UFI locks have been bypassed without physical access. So physical access meaning like, you know, I have access to this uh, system. I have access to these VMs. Uh, that would be the physical access. So I'm technically saying uh, you can access the system. So my system can be accessed remotely if my firewall and my uh, whatever securities that I have in place are not up to par. So they can bypass and use that and breach my system. Uh, even though I'm fully patched, doesn't matter. Uh, according to this article, it doesn't give a damn about it. So if you're fully patched, you're still screwed. Uh, as a result, I was able to make a fully patched Windows machine susceptible to thousands, not one or two, he's saying thousands of past loopholes, uh, churning fixed loopholes into zero days. 
and making them uh, making and making the term fully patched meaningless guys so if your system is fully patched technically it's meaningless on any windows machine in the world <laughs> so i hope windows uh, microsoft is actually looking at this and then they're really like you know putting the efforts now to um actually mitigate this uh here's the thing uh reporting reporting it to so in february i guess he did report this that his Windows down down date downgrade attack six months after reporting the loophole to Microsoft in February, that they're still work. So here's the thing, <laughs> they're still working on it, guys. It hasn't been patched, and it is still out there. So Windows, oh Microsoft needs to really pick up the pace and start working on it. And here here's the kicker. Uh, let me show you guys. <laughs> I was able to show, so he was able to show that how it was possible to pass. I don't know how he did that, but I, I'd be interested in seeing how it actually is achievable. Uh, if you guys are out there, if you know how to do this, if you're Alan, I like to see this because this is very interesting. I'm not a hacker, but I like to see and learn new things. Uh, I'm not going to learn hacking, but still, this is very interesting. Like, this is very intriguing. And I, I'm hoping the viewers that are watching this video, they find this interesting as well. That uh, literally your system up to date is not up to date anymore. Uh, so, uh, so again, we believe, my, this is the Microsoft, I believe, right? So that's saying this, we believe the implications are significant, not only to Microsoft Windows. Oh, actually, this is the site. Uh, we believe the implications are significant on Microsoft, Microsoft Windows, which is the world's most widely used desktop operating system but also other operating system vendors that may potentially be susceptible to downgrade attacks. So uh, so here's the thing, a uh, statement after the story was published. Uh, again, this is Microsoft talking. We appreciate the work that Safe Breach is identifying by reporting, uh, responsibly reporting this uh, loophole through coordinated loophole disclosure. I'm going to just replace that with loophole. Uh, we are actively developing mitigation to protect against these risks while following an extensive process involving a thorough investigation, update development records, blah, 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 and then more blah, 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 right? So again, <laughs> if, you're, if you're a Windows hater or Microsoft hater, um, this is it, guys. Uh, time to really push towards Linux or uh, Mac OS. I might be actually switching my system to Linux, to be honest. Like, I was going to do another video about me switching over to Linux, but let me see what happens. I wanted to do a virtual machine first, but hey, my virtual machines are not safe anymore. So, uh, I, I don't know, guys. Uh, again, I want to do a short video about this. Uh, please do go read these articles. Um, again, uh, please, uh, so here, here's the here's the kicker. Uh, this I couldn't find that on the other article, uh, but so another site to the, um, that did say this um, that this was surprising, given Microsoft's VB's feature, VBS features were announced in 2015. So technically meaning this downgrade attack surface that Alan discovered had existed for almost a decade. So a good thing, I guess, is that nobody found out about it till now. And uh, systems probably haven't been breached using this method. And, and I don't know, maybe they have been, and then it's been hush-hush, you know. Uh, people are not coming out with that. So again, guys, um, keep your systems up to date, though. I would say Windows, uh, Linux, or Mac OS, guys, please keep your systems up to date. It doesn't matter if there are these loopholes that are out there. Um, hackers will find ways to hack your system, but keeping your system up to date is the the most uh, responsible the the responsible thing to do. So just keep your system up to date. Uh, your loved ones, systems like your parents, grandparents, if you have uh, have them uh, running on Windows or any any operating system. So because they do banking and whatnot, right, guys? Uh, banking might they might be doing banking, they might be doing other things that you know might kind of become a painful venture for them if their system wants to get hacked. So again, you don't need to be a administrator, it looks like uh, they can basically send uh, packets or whatever, however they do it. I don't know how they do it, but uh, it's undetectable, guys. <laughs> your antivirus, your EDR solution, they will not be able to detect it. So uh, this is alarming, guys. Hopefully, uh, Microsoft uh, really gets their head head in the game and then starts patching. I don't know why they don't have. Here's the thing that really upsets me is that why are why don't they have people like Alan or somebody else working in their in their like uh, organization working on this? Why does it have to be 
some external source like bleeping computers or something else like you know why does it have to be somebody else who discovers it why not they have why don't they have people that are actually with them or working with them to actually go through all these processes so 15 years guys 15 years is a long time like 15 years um almost a decade is a very long time guys so again guys uh, that's all i want to talk about in this video i was literally like i was pissed that uh microsoft is not really it's not it's, well i knew that it wasn't a safe oper safe operating system to work with but i uh, but most systems like you know insurance systems i know some insurance systems use windows still uh, even windows 7 like but they're not connected to the internet i think lots of other systems are like you know still and most people are still i like windows right not linux not mac or not other other os but government agencies probably still windows right you know uh, educational institutes universities everything everything guys is windows most of the places are windows windows servers or windows 11 windows 10 because staff like you know anywhere you, you go you you they not, not everybody is uh, comfortable with linux right but most companies will have windows guys most companies so literally billions of systems like Oh my god if they start hacking using this or if they figure out how to do however how to do what whatever alan did it's going to be a nightmare guys i hope the news media outlet do pick it up and then put light a fire under microsoft's ass basically and gets them going on coming out with a breach or, or coming out with a fix for this like an update 15 years is a long time so 15 years is a long time again guys that's all i want to talk about uh, stay safe, I guess, if you can. <laughs> Keep your system up to date, uh, and wait for the for like further updates, if any. I will post probably another video, if not, uh, whenever the fix has been released, or I will just do a comment and pin it. And if I do find out uh, about the Hyper V stuff that I was talking about, if the feature is disabled, are you still kind of you know prone to this attack, or you're not? So I will try to find that out for you guys and post it in the comment section uh thanks guys thanks for watching please do hit like uh, the like button if you like this content uh, or if you want to see more of this content sort of thing like news that are out there uh, i really didn't want to focus on stuff like this this is like a react video or i don't know what this is this video is about but i wanted to kind of share the concerns that i have with windows and what's happening as of today so as of right now your windows is not safe sorry to say this uh uh, all right guys I, I there isn't um, a way to protect it unless you take it off the internet or you up your firewall or your security measures uh, on your home network your work network or whatever right so um good luck guys um hopefully we all don't get hacked and hopefully my system is still up and running tomorrow <laughs> thanks a lot guys take care be safe